It's the most wonderful time of the year for tech junkies and gadget geeks. The Consumer Electronics Show has kicked off and it is one of the most anticipated events of the year, offering a first glimpse at the latest innovations and futuristic concepts. Now, I myself can't get out to Vegas, so we're checking in with tech expert Andrea Smith so she can share some of the biggest reveals and coolest gadgets from inside the show. Andrea, I'm so jealous that you get to see all this new stuff. You know, I have to tell you, this is my 11th CES, and it doesn't disappoint. It is an awesome place. This is where we see all the latest tech in and innovations that are coming out this year. Great to get a first-hand look and, you know, a little sneak peek. I've seen the 4K TVs. They are thin, and they are bright, and they are light. I've seen the laptops. Uh, everything here from cars to household gadgets all getting connected. Well, that's why we're checking in with you so you can kind of tell us what we're going to be able to see as 2018 kind of pans out. Let us in on some of the secrets. Well, what I've seen so far is that everything here is going to be voice in it. We're going to be using our voice to control our gadgets. Uh, so many of the products I've seen have Amazon Echo built in or integrated and Google Home integrated so that you can use your voice just to turn on the lights, just to check your video doorbell, uh, even to turn on your shower. And, you know, some of the cool things here are the bigger tech picture, um, you know, the way we walk around with our laptops all day, right? This is our life. One trend I'm seeing is how companies like Samsung are building in really useful features. Samsung introduced the uh, 2018 Notebook 9 and the Notebook 9 pen here. Um, I like it because it weighs just over two pounds. It's flexible. You can convert it from a laptop to a tablet. But Tina, the really cool thing is the S Pen. You can write directly on the screen with this laptop. So I just love the way all of these useful features are all built in, so I only need one device. Well, you're right. Everything's going to get easier and kind of smarter, I guess, is, is the way we're going to kind of look at everything, including things just around our home, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even just the regular household gadgets are getting smarter. They're getting connected to your devices or they're getting sensors. Colgate has the Connect E1. It's the brand's first app-enabled electric toothbrush. It's a smart toothbrush. It connects to your iPhone or your uh, Apple Watch via Bluetooth, and it monitors your brushing patterns. It learns what you're doing, and it tells you whether you're doing a good job brushing or if there's any areas that you're missing. And it uses vibrating technology and AI algorithms. And basically, it's to alert you to any problems before they become big problems. There's an app for kids. There's games to play to kind of get them into the, the habit of brushing. Uh, starting this week, it's available on Apple.com and select Apple stores. Well, who would have known that in the future our toothbrushes would be connected uh, to our smartwatches and our smartphones. Andrea, is there anything else you can tell me before I let you go? Yeah, you know, another trend I'm seeing is just how companies are using this data that they're collecting and turning it into more personal, personalized information that you can use. Wells Fargo is testing predictive banking on their mobile app. Basically, it just analyzes your transactions and gives you useful information. If you bought plane tickets, it might say, Tina, don't forget to put a travel alert on your credit card. So it's just about breaking down the data now and helping consumers understand and make smart decisions. Well, we want to stay up to date with all this, whether it's banking or toothbrushes or our laptops. Is there somewhere we can go online to get some more info? Yeah, go to colgate.com slash connect for the toothbrush or Samsung and Wells Fargo's websites and get more information on everything I talked about. All right, well, I'm going to let you go. Go find some more great finds for us, and then I will check back later. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. We'll be right back.